Um, I'm here for the house tour. Oh, you want to come see our house? Well, come on, come on in. Welcome to our humble abode. Okay, so right now you are standing in our living room slash office area. Slash gymnastics room. <laughs> so I'll take you around and kind of tell you a little bit about where everything is from and stuff like that because I get so many questions on you guys asking where I get stuff from. So we'll come over to the office area. So that's my desk. I do my makeup and then I also work from there. I work from home in case you guys did not know. And that's just my makeup slash work area. I got the chair from um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I can't remember. And then you go over here. So this area right here is another little storage area. I have just some drawer in another cabinet area. Again, storage is essential in this place because it is so small. Don't you be eating those peppermints over there, cameraman. Um, I have a candle, little flowers that I made myself, and this mirror, and I feel like it all ties in together perfectly. I just love the way that this looks. Right here is our little area where you can come and sit down, take off your shoes, put on your shoes. We have storage in here, which is a must because this place is kind of small. So right here we've got a drawer a cabinet and then a little bench that has lots of storage. I have a picture frame and some peppermints. I got this little bowl from Pier 1 Imports and I love it. Then over here we have this cute little rocking chair for this little kitty right here. She was so small when she got it and she was so cute and she barely used it but she loves it and she's loved it for so many years now and we just can't get rid of it and she's well she's still forgetting it so and here's our other little cutie, Bella. <laughs> I love this mirror right here. It used to be gold and it was spray painted um, silver to kind of tie in. If you guys see, I don't like a whole lot of color in my house. But this, I kind of want to put over the couch. And then what I have over the couch, put right here or in another place. I don't know yet. But it actually is really functional because you can actually walk up to the mirror and see things. Like, you know, get really close to the mirror and see yourself. So now we will go into the living room. So then this is what you see when you walk in the door. And that's basically the living room area. So I will come and start over here with this table that I got from Target. It's a pyramid table. And you guys, I will have links to everything because I get so many questions on my furniture and where I get it from. I will have links to everything that I can have links to. You guys know, like when you go to Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx, like obviously you can't have links and also home goods. But Target, I'll have a link for that and then I'll have a link for my other tables. But yeah, I got that little thing from Ross and I just put in some faux flowers and then that's a picture of me and Ava. I got the frame from like TJ Maxx and then I put on the little rhinestones myself. Then here is the TV. I love this little TV stand. Um, I got it from Walmart and it has again plenty of storage and some shelves. I just went really simple with a little candle from Hen Henry Bendel and a little crystal thing that I got from Ross and then my TV and my little cutie made me this. I love it. The little flower pot and then she also made me that and then my other little cutie got me this amazing little mom plaque um, one year for Christmas he's so sweet you come over here I just have some frames and some pictures of my cuties and me and my cuties um, this one right here I got those thick frames the small ones from Marshall's several years ago and then a couple of years ago I got this big one from Target He's so handsome. Oh, look how handsome he is. Look how little they are, guys. Oh my gosh. And me. And then Ava graduating pre-K. So this living room furniture I absolutely love. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not getting the gray because I went ahead and I went with the cream because the guy who was selling it to me was like, oh, don't worry about it. It has like this little stuff that we'll put on it that repels stains. And then I didn't think about, you know, how when you have like dark denim or you know clothes transferring so I really 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 need to get to wiping those couches down because you can tell there's like a pretty good difference between the ottoman which has no seating you know no one sits there and then like the two couches where people sit 
But yeah, the couches came from Rooms to Go. That little tray in the middle, I got that from Marshalls. I got a little bowl full of peppermints, my remotes, and then that little flower thing that came from Marshalls. So this is actually called a seat and a half. It's not technically a love seat, even though it is big enough to be a love seat. And then this one is what they call the love seat. Um, I get so many questions about these tables. These tables I got from Amazon, and again, I will link them down below. I absolutely love them. I think that they're beautiful. Again, more storage with the drawer, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I just have a mirrored tray, some flowers, another candle from Henry Bendel, and some coasters that I got from Z Gallery. So that's a close-up of the table. I love it. This little thing right here I got from Home Goods, and I just put in a candle. I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's just kind of sitting there. I don't really care for it there, but I really don't know what else to do with it. So, I don't know. On the other side of the wall, before you go into the kitchen, see there's that side, and then here's this side. I just have a pair of high heels on a canvas. I love this picture. I got it from Ross a couple years ago. And then this painting right here is from this, the most famous artist that I know. He is amazing. His name is Cantrell. Cantrell, would you like to come talk about this? I actually know the artist. He actually lives with me. Sure. What? So what this is is um, a canvas with flowers in the background to laugh with the colors. And the reason I did, made this is because it was a Mother's Day present for my mom. And he's so sweet, and I love it. Isn't it perfect? He's actually got another canvas, and he's going to, what are you going to do for me? Now I'm going to um, do a family portrait of me, Mommy, and Ava, and Bella. <gasps> we're going to love it. Oh, I'm going to love it so much. And then we're going to put that probably uh, right uh, there when you first walk in. Well, um, you are a very good artist. Yes, you are, Ava. And then the other side of the couch, I just have another one of those tables, and I have a lamp from Target, and a picture of me and Cantrell. I love this picture of us. It's my absolute favorite. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, and then I have this little tile thing that Ava made. Those are her little fingerprints. So cute. I think she made that in, well, it says 2015 there, so two years ago. So that is basically my living room. So that is the living room from this angle right here. And I love it. I, I love my furniture. I love the way that I have my house decorated. It's everything that I've wanted for years and I finally got it right. So I'm really happy with it. I didn't talk about this, but that's Bella's little bed right there. I just got a little cupcake thing covering up her bed because Ava did it that way. And then her balls are sitting there. So that's Bella's little bed. And then you walk in from the living room into the kitchen. The kitchen is really small. It's something I've definitely had to get used to. And I'm actually still having to get used to. We've been in this house for three months now and it's been difficult because there's not a whole lot of counter space. But I am really happy that we have a pantry. So we have this little pantry right here on the left. And then on the right we have a little bit of counter space. Really not much to work with, but I just have my blender back there and this stove <laughs> and I bought these little towels the other day at Walmart so they should still be there it's a watermelon on a mint background I absolutely love it and it says summer is here I love 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 it I also have a microwave above the stove so I have a decent amount of cabinets I could definitely use some more um, but I just have this little thing again I got that from Ross I got it like in a three pack and I just have them all around the house um, but this one is holding some utensils because you guys, or not some utensils, but some cookware. Um, that is the size of our drawer. Like we cannot even put silverware in our drawer. I had to put it in the pantry. I had to buy like a basket from Pier 1 and put it in the pantry. Which if you guys are interested, I should be doing a pantry organizational video coming up here soon. So look out for that. But yeah, those are the only two drawers that I have. And it's definitely been getting some use to. Um, that is my fridge right there. I asked the lady to let me have my fridge and she said yes. This area right here is honestly the only area where you can really work as far as like chopping and stuff. And it's just too small for me so I always come over here. So whenever I'm chopping I always come over here. 
and this is my table. Now, as you guys can see, this table is entirely too large for this area. So I am trying to sell this table on um, Craigslist and I'm gonna keep the stools, which is one right there and then one right there and get an island. So the island will go, hold on, let me show you like in this area right here. And what I want for the island is I'm looking for something where I can have cabinets and drawers so I can put my silverware and put like things like my air fryer. Things that are taking up too much space in my pantry or in my laundry room, I want to be able to put in that island. And I've seen some, I just can't figure out which one I want. But it has to be an island that also has the little countertop with it so I can have seating as well as use it like dual purpose, tr trio purpose actually, storage, cutting, so I can have store like counter space, more counter space, and then also for us to sit and eat breakfast or lunch or whatever. So this I'm really wanting to go. It was actually pulled out more so you could sit over there, but I, um, there's only three of us and we only have, we never have guests, so we only use these three seats. So I figured that we'd have a little bit more walking room over here. And we just have a mirror and a door to go outside. We have a little tiny backyard. That right there is just stained glass that came with the house. That's not something that I would have picked out or done, but I mean, hey, it goes. Um, but yeah, we have a little backyard that's fenced in that's perfect for our little Bella. So on this side, we just have Bella's dog food area. Over on the other side of the kitchen, we just have a trash can. And then above the trash can, I have this Love is Patient and Kind um, canvas that I got from... TJ Maxx or something. It's one of those places. And then over here is just the laundry room. No point in even opening up. I mean, it's just the washer and dryer in there and that is it. So as you come out of the kitchen, you come back into the living room and if you take a right, then you're gonna see mine and Ava's room. And there's the little cutie laying on the bed. And so everyone knows that this is mine and Ava's room. We have a picture on the door of us. <laughs> and then right here, you walk over to the left we have a nice, decent sized closet where we can have our hamper, we can have all of our clothes, we can have our shoes, there's shelving up there to put my purses, shelving right here to put like more shoes and jewelry. This is Ava's side of the closet. And so we still have actually a little bit more storage space. And then there's her clothes. And if you're wondering where her toys are, they're like hidden underneath her clothes. Sorry, it's really hard to get an angle, like a right angle. It's hard to get the right angle in this little area. There we go, so you can see them. So now you come to this side and I have this little mirrored dresser that I got from Home Goods. I got all of the stuff that's on top from Home Goods as well. And then I have this little Believe sign above it. It actually lights up, but I need to put some batteries in it because the batteries died. I got that from a Christian bookstore. I absolutely love it. So this right here is the bed. Um, I got the bed from a furniture store years ago. I got the end tables from, I cannot remember, years ago. Um, I have that mirrored tray that I got from Overstock. Um, some pictures of me and Ava, a lamp, some books on be beneath the thing. Um, Kinchel made me this little emoji. How cute is that? <laughs> I love it. So I love the color mint and you will see that that is the pop of color that I chose to go with in my house. So that is our bed. And then over here I have this little stool and this doll my grandma made me. So right over here is my daughter's dresser. She also has a mirror dresser and we got that from Home Goods. We have a um, what is that called? A TV? A little nightlight that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. A little picture and another phone because like I said I work from home so I need home phones. There's another, there's a little cutie. <laughs> right over here is we have the mirror in the corner and we just have this little furry fuzzy rug that I got from Marshalls and then this full length mirror that I got from Big Lots. And then we have a little night light right there that will actually show Elsa and Anna from Frozen on the ceiling, which is pretty cool. Those curtains I got from Walmart. 
And over here is my Barbie dream house. Um, right here I have the kitchen where Elsa is, and I put a braid in her hair if you don't see it. Oh, how pretty. And then right here is outside. And she has made her own Barbie clothes, you guys. Do you see that little skirt that she's wearing and the little shirt? Ava took some socks and learned how to sew by looking at a YouTube video. She just took socks like that, cut them up, and made Barbie clothes. She is so incredibly talented. This is what I'm going to make, Ken. And this is my Barbie house. That's the rest of it. Thank you for showing us, baby girl. Yeah. Oh, and that's her little pool with uh, another Ken chilling out there? <laughs> and some in a, more... In a sock. Pool. Supply <laughs> in the supplies for her more for more of her Barbie <laughs> dresses or whatever uh, clothes. So this is the other uh, bedside table. It's the same exact one as the on the other side. And then we just have this little frame with this thing. The year that Ava was born, I bought this little thing on this website that talks all about the year she was born. It has like her personal stats on there and stuff like that. So I think that's a really good. Actually, that picture of Ava is not supposed to be there. Ava, will you go take that off, please? Yes. <laughs> I keep telling her, like, it's too much with that in there. But she's like, oh, I want my picture of me when I was a little girl. But I'm like, Ava, it's too much. So this is how it's supposed to look. And I just have a lamp and then this little silver thing right there and then a little frozen alarm clock. So this is another... quick span of the room and what it looks like. And again, there's the closet. And then since this is the master, we do have a bathroom. And nothing really exciting to see. <laughs> but we just have some trays on each side. It's really hard to film in here because it's so, it's kind of narrow and my tripod just doesn't want to work in here. But these little trays I got from Pier 1. This one has uh, the J initial and that one has the A initial. And then that little thing my son made for me at school. And we just have a toilet and a shower curtain I got from Target. Another one of those rugs I got from Marshall's uh, scale. I have this little thing on the back wall. I don't know where I got this from, but I love it. Like I would love to have a bathroom like that. Love it. And then over here, I just have a little mirror and a little hand towel. And there's like another view of the sink area. And then that, um, it's actually a lotion pump. I thought it was a soap pump, but it's a lotion pump. But I got that from Marshalls and I love it how blingy it is. So you come out of the bedroom and then you're right into the living room. Again, come down here. So to the right, there is the guest bathroom, which the very like standard bathroom. I mean, a sink, a toilet, a shower, Kentrell's laundry baskets in there. We put a little rug that we got from Ross over there. And you can also, you can see that door, get into Kentrell's room from that door as well. So that's the guest bathroom. You come out and you come over and we reach the finale. Hello. And that this is Kendra's room. room. This is really the main room here. Kendra really hang out. So welcome to my room. I have a super comfy bed. I love it. That's where I hang out. And if you come over here, the little kennel. And then I have squacky mm -hmm. work jobs and Michelangelo. He got that from his girlfriend. <laughs> and then, um, I have a PlayStation 3 from my dad. Um, this is my favorite drawing pencil. I have it right there. Ava takes it all the time. <laughs> I have a bunch of pictures and cards. The Valentine cards, birthday cards. Oh, pictures. look at that picture of me and him. Look at him as a baby. <laughs> He's so friends. sweet. And, and back oh. there, back. So this dresser right here was actually mine, you guys, growing up. It was like, if you guys grew up in the 80s, 90s, you may have had one of these dressers and you may know what it looked like before it was like a really odd color with some like gold around it. It was just really ugly. So 
Um, it's been painted. It really needs to be done again because it looks really bad, but um, we just did it with a high lacquer brown and then spray painted the, uh, I can't, the drawer pulls, I guess you call them, the silver. Handles. Yes. And then right here, he's so, got a little game chair. game chair. And then at the window, I got those curtains from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I can't remember. Now I have this canvas over here that has my initials KB. It's just outside. And then I have this. <laughs> <laughs> when did you do that? When did you do that? Aww. <laughs> He's now in uh, going into sixth grade, just for reference, you guys. That is so cool. I love that picture. Up here, I have a Minecraft poster from my best friend Jordan. And then over here, there's another canvas. And it's got a bunch of colors. And he needs to wipe all of that mess off the wall, because that's where he was uh, He was doing something over there with the canvas, canvas he was drawing me. So here, I have this nice little chair. So over here, under the desk, there's just little shelves and he has these little trinket things that he um, made himself in school. And the closet's over there, and y'all, I'm not going to show you the state of it because I don't know what the state of it is. Is it bad? Yes. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to show you the closet, but over there is just this little art thing, and that is it. So there is the door for the bathroom, and then to go outside of the room, and then of course there's the living room. Thank you guys so much for watching our house tour. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm a single mom to these two cuties. Actually three, because we have a little Bella too, which you guys I think saw throughout the house tour. I don't know. Yeah, I think you guys did. But yeah, that will do it for this video. Did you have something to say? Um, ta keep hitting that like button. That's all your screen cracks. What? <laughs> I mean, screen cracks. Mm. <laughs> Keep hitting the like button until your screen cracks. <laughs> yeah, and I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.